What's up internet? My name is Kayla and welcome back to my channel. A video that has already gone up before this one, which I'll have it linked up in the cards, is my back to school makeup list, all affordable items, cause you know what? You're going back to school, you're spending money on clothes and books and school supplies in general. If you're going to college, you're buying dorm equipment, you're buying like silverware and like plates and pots and pans and towels and everything. You're already spending hundreds of dollars, including tuition, including the dorm room stuff. You're a lot of money so why not just add a little bit more to that with makeup because makeup makeup is not a necessity but it is definitely a beneficial thing that's unrelated so today's video is kind of a flip side of that not a full like full phase of like high-end makeup that you should buy and take to school with you no not quite that these are just a few of my favorite high-end makeup items and honestly I don't have that many high-end products just because I'm very selective and what I spend my money on especially for high-end makeup I don't like buying things the minute they come out if they are more than like $20 honestly because I want to see the reviews I want to read them I want to know if this product should be good for me so generally um, my high-end products I love and I kind of try to do my best to make sure that I love them before purchasing them <sighs> Anyway, so today is my favorite high-end makeup products. Before we fully get into the video, I do want to do a honorable mention, so let's do that first. The honorable mention is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, which is kind of like every concealer, so maybe that's a little redundant. But it's only an honorable mention because I haven't used this concealer that many times to really make it a full-on recommendation. I have enjoyed it the times I have. I just have some older concealers that I want to use up entirely before I really get my teeth into this one. But the times I have used this concealer, I haven't noticed any excessive drying, any excessive greasiness. It wears beautifully throughout the day. It does crease, but I honestly have just accepted that creasing is a fact of life unless you use Facetune or Photoshop if you actually do your Photoshop being stuff on the computer, but it's phones, Facetune, whatever. Um, but yeah, I still really like to steal for times I've tried it. What I especially recommend it for is that, yes, this is $30, but it's half an ounce. It's half a found, it's a half amount of a foundation. It's basically a mini foundation. And yes, it is a lot of product, but just because this one is getting really compared to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, in perspective, this is $21, $29 for half an ounce, and the Shape Tape Concealer is $27 for 0.3 ounces. So you do get a lot more product. So even if you're just kind of nervous, I mean, this is the most amount of product I've seen in any concealer, which is why I'm definitely recommending just for you to give it a shot, because if you do really like this, this is going to last you a long time long time and in terms of breaking it down price per ounce it's definitely going to take you farther um but i do understand 30 dollars is still really scary up front okay now into the actual favorite high-end makeup products so for the other major products, I want to take a quick little turn into Smashbox. I really like Smashbox's B Legendary Lipsticks. This is my full size in Kanye, which I don't actually think you can purchase anymore, which is really sad. And then I have two of the minis um, that were nearby. Um, I got these in a holiday set last year. Um, they are the shades Fig and Witchy, so I'm going to switch to them right now. Okay, so here are the lipstick shades. Cognac is on top, Witchy is in the middle, and Fig is on the very bottom. These are all pretty dark shades. Um, I do have other ones, but I can't find them right now, and I don't really care to find them. I, I'm sure in like 30 seconds I could if I wanted to try, but I really wanted to get filming. Um, so that's why, but they're really beautiful. You can get them in all sorts of different shades. I like their liquid lipsticks formula, but I think they're original bullet lipsticks I think are just they're just softer and creamier and I think the their liquid lipsticks can be duped out pretty well um but these are just freaking ridiculously comfortable they look beautiful on the lips they have a nice shine they do have some matte ones I have not tried the matte ones out yet I really want to um but these are just these are just definitely a favorite they are $24 um but Christmas time is approaching so if you're if so if you're a little scared um they will probably have more mini sizes little sets like this so <laughs> so the next makeup product i want to talk about is as Liv loves her makeup likes to call them her flying saucers i really love the becca shimmery skin perfectors just call them highlighters becca that's what they are um i really do um so i have champagne pop vanilla quartz this is a Sephora exclusive and then I have a mini of Moonstone and hey guys check this out 
I've hit pan on it. Oh, it wasn't even in my project pan. Um, and I've hit pan on this guy. I love Moonstone so freaking much. The reason why I think that these high layers are worth the price is because of the way they look on the skin. There are a lot of drugstores kicking up their highlighter game. I get that. I understand it. I love a lot of drugstore highlighters, but there is just something about the way that these just look on the skin. I did not realize how like beautiful something could just like look on your skin until I went to work and I just looked in the mirror and I saw moonstone on my cheeks. I'm not, I'm not wearing it today, but I just noticed how just beautifully laid out, how it just kind of like blended and melted in with everything on my skin. I was like, wow. And that's what really, really sold me on these. These are for full size $30. Which it was a lot. It is, it is a lot. I'm not, I'm not denying that, but let me just finish watching this last one. Oh my god, this is my favorite. Um, so I just watched like, the residue of the lipstick underneath. Um, but on top is Moonstone, followed by Champagne Pop, and then Vanilla Quartz on the bottom. Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. Just, oh, can I get this zoomed in a little bit more? My camera wants to focus on my face. Again, there's just something about the way the highlighters look. Just blended out. Yes, those are finger swatches, so it's a lot more pigmented. Can I swatch these out? Okay. So here these are, like, a little bit more blended out. For sure, Champagne Pop is, like, the poppiest. Moonstone's a little on the subtle side, and the Vanilla Quartz, oh my god. Right, now I'm actually using a makeup wipe to take off my makeup. That was smart. Okay, two quick eyeshadow shout outs are going for the Naked Ultimate Basics palette. This is quite literally the ultimate basic neutral palette I think you would ever need. It was at least on sale at Ulta for $27. It was so half price. This is usually $54. Usually, I think this was on sale for a few weeks, so it's probably been taken off sale by now um but it it's this palette is great because urban decay i think does matte shadows way better than they do shimmer shadows i think matte is where their strong suit is i think they need to do more matte eyeshadow palettes this is just so good you have the nice warm tones and you have the cool tone neutrals you can do a variety of looks with this um if you just want to keep it all matte life and then you just want to buy some highlighters when you're in a shimmer mood this is a really good it can be a standalone palette it can be a companion palette and you get this giant freaking mirror like look at this mirror is huge and it's beautiful it does come with a brush and i lost it i don't really care that i lost it but as a just a basic go-to palette i highly recommend this guy and then it probably should be an honorable mention, but let me go palette by Bette LaVos. Having my eyes today. Part of my makeup basket this week. I love this guy. I did a review and a demo of it. I might as well link it up in the cards below. Um, I love this for a very completely different reason. These colors, man. These colors. Look at how pretty they are. This is the complete opposite of the Ultimate Basics palette. This is ultimately not basic. It has this color scheme, this color story that it, it looks very much like a rainbow palette, but there's just something slightly different about the shades. They're definitely more summer focused, and I love that about this palette. I've loved every single look I've created with this palette. I had to throw it in here. It's $45. This was my, now this was my first Violet Voss palette, so don't keep that in mind. So I think that is why I'm definitely saying that it's worth the money and why I'd probably spend up to $45 on it. And also I do want to throw it in because it's limited edition. Guys, it's probably going to be gone soon. So please take the risk and order this or pick this up, please. If you love color, if you want to get into color, there's enough warm tones in here. Um, so if you look at like the yellows and oranges, these... Those colors are very, A, you can transition to fall with those, but they're also very safe for people who are a little bit nervous to play with color. It's a great transition into playing with color, and then when you lose your freaking mind like I do, you just grab all the colors. And they do have a nice solid black, which it's called sunny, so I get how it goes with summer vibe, but at the same time, why is there a giant black in here? I don't know. Next, we're going to cover one more eyeshadow palette, and I swear we're not done with eyeshadow palettes, but let's just... I 
I love Juvia's Place palettes. These are only $24, $25. Um, the Masquerade Mini is around that price. If you want the giant size of the Masquerade palette, it is closer to $30. But th these are fr pretty freaking affordable. But the reason why I think it's like I'm putting this in like the spend higher ends category is because you're, you bought... Seriously, you buy one, you're you're gonna buy. You want to buy every single one of them. I actually bought three of them at the same time. Um, these three, I got them once because there was like a thirty percent off sale. Um, and so these were the first three, and then I picked up the Afki palette. If you've been around my channel for more than two minutes, you know I freaking love this palette already. Okay, do I need to do just a full on review of this palette? I feel like I do it in every video. I love this. Pick it up. It's available on Ulta too now. Um, these, the quality guys, the quality, I know Juvia's Place is becoming one of those largely talking about companies on YouTube right now, but as a person who has a tiny freaking channel who is not known by any company, you guys, also I'm a girl who loves eyeshadow. Can you tell that I love my crazy colorful eyeshadows, okay? Once you buy one of these, you're probably going to want to buy one or two or 300 more. I cannot recommend these enough. I do have my eye on one. Oh man, I should have grabbed one of the blushes today. I wasn't buying the stuff at Ulta anyway. I should have picked one up. Oh well. These, they're affordable. They are affordable enough to where it's pretty safe for you to at least give, um, test one out. But I'm pretty sure once you grab one, again, you're going to want to buy more. I can't swatch all these. I just think the quality is impeccable. I... I don't want to say that these are the best eyeshadow palette formulas considering that I haven't tried like every single eyeshadow formula in the world, but honestly, I would probably put my money on these at least being in the top five. Alright, so we're going to end this video talking about two more products from one brand, and that is Stila. Stila to me is the unsung hero of the high-end makeup brand because you guys probably know them for their, what are these, Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow liquid high eyeshadows these are pretty much what made everyone start creating dupes of this um i've only tried one one else dupes of this i'm kind of i don't know if i'm tempted or want to check out other people's versions but like i just love these guys so much surprisingly i only have kitten and perlina of these guys and they do take a little bit of working around um these are both the glitter ones they have shimmers too I'm kind of tempted about the shimmers, but I'm just thinking like, hey, if I'm going to spend $24 on one, like, liquid eyeshadow, like, I'm freaking going to get the glitter, okay? Um, shimmers are pretty easy, to. I should have shooken these up. They're, like, clicking up. They're, like, they're, like, cra they're like highlighting, like, my hair on my hand. Little white bumps. But let me swatch show these guys to you. So, Kitten's on top. Kitten Karma is usually the one people will first purchase like I did and we were just testing the waters. It's nice of Rose Goldie with shimmer. They do have a shimmer version as well and then the white one below it is Perlina. Perlina is, a sh is sheer than Kitten um, which I actually don't mind. Um, it just has a nice white multi chromy glitter. It's freaking beautiful. That's what it is. So I think that these Stila glitters are worth the money just because of how well they work on the skin. Yes, there's fallout and their flakiness. You probably want the issue with the shimmer ones, but honestly, I like glitter. So if I have some glitter like on my face, I don't really care. I also have a very casual life. Um, I'm not gonna get like called out at work for having glitter on my face unless it's like blatantly apparent. I did, however, once find a glitter from this guy in my hair line. I'm not quite sure how that happened. But other than that, these are very high product. I think they're they're. Their hype is, is dying down, um, but I still think it's worth it, guys. Um, I, I just still think it's worth it. I think the biggest reason why I haven't purchased more of them is just because as much as I love glitter, I just don't reach for as much as my I want to. I see a, there's a lot of like bluey, purpley, pinky shades, and I'm like, er, I want them. The last product that I want to talk about from anything at all are these guys. The Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipsticks. I freaking love these guys. Okay, these are $22 a pop. And I have three of them. Four, six of them. I can't count. Um, 
the only one I didn't show you I paid for was Rico, um, and I'll show you this watch in a, in a second. Um, and that's only because I thought my mom would really like this formula, and for some reason I thought that this would be a really good shade for her. Did not just complete comprehend that of how dark it was gonna be, even though we swatched it in store. Um, but yeah, she didn't like how dark it was, so she gave it to me. So I have six of these, and I love them. I absolutely freaking love them. The reason why I love them is because my okay. So first of all, the smell. I can't decide if they smell like white chocolate or if they smell like vanilla. I think I'm going to tell my brain that it's white chocolate because I really like white chocolate, even though technically it's not real chocolate. Did you know that? It's just, it's, maybe I should just do a video talking about white chocolate. I don't know. I really like vanilla scents, but I really like white chocolate, so I think I'm going to lean more that way, but swatch in store, smell it, be that weird person. I'll let you decide for yourself, but these are amazing because they are transfer proof. These do not transfer, yet they feel so creamy when you put them on the lips, almost moussey. They feel so nice and really kind of liquidy, but they dry on to perfection. They are opaque. All oh, manner of these opaque. Love them so much. And I have not really found a dupable formula for this, especially a lower end one. Granted, I haven't tried a world of liquid. Lip, liquid lipsticks. I think the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lips are. Mm, I don't know if they're. I don't know if they're exactly quite doable. Also, those do transfer. Um, these last a long time on the lips, and depending on which one you get, they fade pretty well. I don't. Let's let's do the swatches. Let's let's do the swatches first. Um, so these are all of them that I have. Let me just. So starting with that beautiful bright red, that is Beso. Oh my goodness. This, that is like the true, true best red. That dark vampy color um, underneath it is Rico. That's the one I thought my mom would really like and it was too dark for her, and which I should have known better than her because I'm the one who loves a vamp lip. And then going from the, we're going to go bottom to the top, that one is Bachi. And that is the first one I got. It's just a really like mauve kind of nude pink color. I don't freaking know. Um, absolutely freaking beautiful. The one above it is Bellissima, that kind of like pinky orange. I love this, but it also makes me feel like I have duck lips. So um, I think I just need to play around with maybe like layering this on top of something else just to kind of make it less duck lippy looking, if that makes sense. Um, Right above that is Carmelo. Oh my goodness, Carmelo is the nude lip, except for Dolce, which is right above it. But we'll go to Dolce in a second. I love Carmelo. It's a little bit too light for me. Even though I'm a pale girl, I like my nudes to be a little bit darker than this. But oh my goodness, it's still a beautiful color. And then Dolce is my favorite. Like, Dolce is just by my by far my favorite. It has, I mean, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see it. Because I need a look into my monitor while also um, covering my face so my camera doesn't zoom in on it. But Dolce has a very slight shimmer to it. It was like, the, I think the first one that, I think Dolce was like the first one that Stila was branching out into shimmers. A few of their shade, their lipsticks, they do have a shimmer in them. Dolce is probably the most like, Dolce is probably like the least like noticeable. Um, I feel like you can see Dolce shimmer more on the lips than you can on just a hand swatch or something. Um, maybe that's just my imagination. I don't know. But they have some other shades. I know they have a shimmer basil. I almost picked that one. Um, there's a shimmer of their patina. They have like probably like six of them in the shimmers and then they have a few sheer ones. Now the sheer, I think I'm going to have to go for a sheer one next because I have been, I want a sheer liquid lipstick. I want like my a lipstick or something to be sh seen kind of under underneath but i still want the transfer proof of a lipstick so i really am dying trying this, those sheer ones and i i seriously want all of these i can't think or don't even know what would even be similarly close to a dupe just they're long lasting they're creamy they smell like vanilla or like chocolate i don't know but it smells so lovely and i I mean, even Rico, like Rico is a dark vampy color. Look how opaque Rico is. Just look how, just, it's so opaque, so creamy. I did, I never double dipped into the one. I just kind of like swatched it like back and forth a little bit. And that's all I took for these guys. Zam, they are so good. I love them. They are the reason why I filmed this video, but 
Okay, so that's it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And again, do me the favor and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. You know, you know you want to. Because you know what? You're here already. You are. I'm doing the Jackie Ina thing. That's what I'm doing. So sorry about that. But if you don't know who Jackie Ina is, watch her channel. She's amazing. Um, But yeah, that's it. I'm rambling. Have a wonderful day, guys. Have a good night.